Libra. What it goddamn be, bruh. It is Scorpion Reds. You know it. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. For the remix to let you guys know what the mid-August energy is for August the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to all my babies. You already know Libra gang, gang, gang. You already know how we roll around here. Shout out to all my newbies, to all my new booties, all my babies. Hello. Hello, Moto. How you doing, boo? So, thank you guys for all of the positive energy, the love, likes, the shares everything um everybody that's been following me over on instagram um if you guys want to connect with me if you guys want to book a personal or private reading with me or want to send some love and light and support to the page all my information is over on the about tab my booking page is down you can still use the booking page in regards to the menu and seeing the pricing so if you guys want to book a, uh, a reading with me, you can have a connect with me just directly on Instagram or you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can shoot me an email on um, Google Hangouts um, so that we can connect. Let me know what type of reading you're looking for. I'll let you know the pricing. Um, I'll give you either my PayPal or my uh, Cash App link. We'll go ahead and handle payment and we'll do the reading right then and there as long as you're available okay so if you have any questions of course like I said just contact me either on Instagram or Google Hangouts or you can contact me by email but it'd be better if you already contact me on the platform that we're going to be doing the video chat on okay so again my booking page is down it's going to show no availability i am wide open okay my booking page just has some issue that i need to fix out with it so y'all just connect with me directly on instagram or google hangouts and we're gonna get it happening okay so if these videos resonate at any time of course the first way to support is to hit the like button you guys make sure y'all hit that like button if the video resonates okay um and if you want to, if the spirit moves you to want to um, give some added support, um, my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Amazon wish list is all in the About tab, um, as well as my merch link. So if you guys enjoy the morning slide with me, go ahead and get your morning slide mug and, you know, sip your tea with me in the morning, okay? So um, thanks again, you guys, for all the love, light, and support. And y'all know my Libras is one of my biggest, biggest supporters. And I love you guys down so much. And I'm actually um, a Libra what my mercury is in libra or some shit like that i don't even know what the fuck that mean y'all astrology people y'all let me know what the fuck that mean my mercury is in libra i guess whatever <laughs> but no libra gang gang i just know i got libra in my chart so so whatever Yes. so we gonna find out what's going on let's get into the prayer real quick let me sip a little bit of my coffee y'all already know how i do about my coffee y'all mm -hmm, hold on mm, mm, mm. yes yes some warm and strong honey yes so father Thank you so much for touching down and giving this guidance for my beautiful Libras. Thank you so much for all the heavenly blessing that you've just been anointing us with, Father God. You know we turn up and we turn out around here, Father God. We have literally, Libra has been, and I say this to all my other signs that's been going through any type of struggle. Please go and check out the Libra energy because even though, still to this day, even if we bump our head and we make a mistake, it's like, We've already overcome so much in 2018 and just Libra standing up and putting their they shoulders and their head high and walking through the flames and coming out on the other side brand new, transformed, reborn. It just showed Libra their power and that they can overcome anything. And if they were able to get over that that they went through in 2018, ain't nothing in 2019 can scare them. Nothing. Nothing. And it took some courage. It, I mean, listen, I done had my, my time when I was rocking into Libra's tail about them needing to get themselves together, but they did. And that's why I always, I always tell people to look to my Libras. It don't matter if we, sometimes we can have a good reading, sometimes we can have a bad reading. We have good days and we all have bad days, but it's about going through that process of self-love. Like we went through that already. We went, especially my OGs. My OGs know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. And I try to tell everybody 
your testimony is your victory because you don't know your testimony and other people seeing that you walk through the fire and coming through being reborn and just having that untouchable that divine energy, that divine spirit that Libra possesses right now. You guys are showing the world if Libra can do it, anybody can do it. And Libra, I want you guys to continue to stand in that power because I talk about y'all with such high regard because, listen, y'all have proven to me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a Scorpio, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes we try to be so strong, but all of us have our own weaknesses and stuff like that. But me working with Libra through y'all's transition has shown me as a Scorpio a strength that I haven't seen in a long time. And I want to say shout out to all my Libra gang. I don't give a damn if we have a good day or a bad day around this bitch. You already know that we done been through the storm, motherfucker. We are the storm. We are the lightning in the goddamn thunder. And you know that Scorpio and that Libra gang, we neck and neck with each other. What? Y'all already know we right leaning up with... We, we, we protecting each other back to back. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I already know how we hold each other down around this motherfucker. So, shout out to all my Libra gang. Father God, thank you so much for holding us through. And uh, anybody that's new to my page, yes, I do cuss and I pray. God know me. He know my OGs. He already know how we walk around here. We good. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all just rock with me. Father God, thank you so much for holding us down. Thank you so much for... Letting us know that you always stuck around, even when we were going through our worst, like you were teaching us something, Father God, because you knew that we would get back up. And I thank you so much for just believing in us. I thank you so much for never letting us go and always pushing us through, always pushing us through, Father God. Give us guidance for mid-August and allow us to be that testimony, to be that victory story. So... If Libra can do it, anybody can do it. And Libra, if you did it before, you could do it again. Okay? And what Janae Aiko say? I done been through worse than you. <laughs> okay? All right? I done been through worse than you. This is nothing. Okay? Baby, that's parquet. That ain't butter. Okay? I can't believe it ain't butter, bitch. That's parquet. That ain't even real butter, girl. Let that go. Anyway, Father God, give us guidance for my Libras. Gang, boom. Give me guidance. Hold on. That shit was parquet. I can't even believe it. Ain't but <laughs> These niggas is parquet. <laughs> These niggas is vegetable oil based fake niggas. <laughs> Leave who y'all going on? Who y'all selling? Niggas is parquet. I need that real butter. <laughs> what? Give me the what? Ooh. Nina. What it mean? Nina and Tina turn. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What is going on? I done seen that Nina Simone card before. I know that Nina Simone card is deep. But I ain't seen Miss Tina before. Ooh. What is this? Yeah, I done seen this. I done seen this card before. This Nina Simone card, y'all ready? It says, never trust cures from the system that made you sick. Y'all hear that? Never trust cures from a system that already made you sick. It says, when love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. You see that? Poison. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. There is nothing more beautiful than speaking Truth to power. Come on, Miss Nina. Miss Nina Sama. Hmm. Tell me if that ain't a word. Now let's see what Miss Tina. Come on, Tina. Girl. It says it's not what happens that matters. It's how you deal with it. Come on, sweetness. It says. Purge your life of whatever brings you down. The most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. Didn't, I already, didn't we already had that conversation and we done came through the mud? Didn't we already say that we was loaded? Come on. Okay. 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 We are okay. Mm-hmm. Let's get into this because I need to see what's going on. I need to see what's going on. You already know how my Libras are when they get into some love. When they be loving. And it says, never trust a cure from a session that once made you sick. So it looked like y'all dealing with something that y'all done dealt with before. 
happen. It's not what happens that matters. It's how you deal with it. Purge your life of whatever brings you down. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. There's nothing more beautiful than speaking truth of power. The most beautiful lotus blooms from the deepest mud. Come on. You don't already went through something deep with this. The Queen of Cups. I don't like the Queen of Cups, you guys. I don't like the Queen of Cups, you guys. This is someone that is in her bag. This is feeling insecure. This is not knowing how to think about a situation, not knowing where you stand. This is someone... <sighs> You're dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety and just an emotional fucking wreck. And I do not like the Queen of Cups in the reverse at all. I do not like that energy at the fuck all. And I just separated it. It's the Tower and then the Five of Swords. What? What the fuck is going on, Libra? The Tower and the Five of Swords. Let me see if that shit about to come back out, y'all. Mm. The Five of Wands in reverse. You're tired of arguing. And it looks like there might be a lack of communication, like... Y'all was arguing, and I feel like there's just been a lot of quietness. But you know that there's other people still around. So, this is why you're feeling insecure. This is why you're feeling weird. Because, number one, you already know that there's some competition and there's other people around in your situation. That's why you're feeling off your rocker a little bit. That's what's throwing you off emotionally because you already know that you're that bitch. You already know it. But you're not stupid. You are an air side. You're not stupid. You guys are very smart. You're very intellectual. You're very analytic. So if something don't feel right, you're going to go find out what's going on. And clearly, there's other people in the mess. I feel like in the past, Previous to right now, I don't feel like there was a lot of movement. Like, I don't feel like you've caught anyone actually doing anything but possibly just talking. But the threat of another alliance between the person that you're with and someone else is there. You see this person negotiating and talking to other people. You understand what I'm saying? And that's thrown you off emotionally. And now you don't know how to feel. You don't know where you fit in into this. You don't know where you fit into this. Whereas though you felt stable and secure, you don't feel like that no more. It's other people coming for your position and coming for your spot. I feel like before there was movement there was talks there was actions and I feel like right now you're still in the midst of this but it's just real quiet and I feel like that's what's making you feel uncomfortable because these people are acting like ain't nothing going on and they're not still communicating with these people and there's nothing going on in motion but you don't trust that shit you don't trust that shit. The four cups in reverse. You don't already been in this situation. Like I said, I don't been through worse than you. I just can't keep running away. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you, but I love you. That Janae Aiko song, I don't been through worse. Like you don't been through this shit before. Never trust cures from systems that made you sick. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. And I think this is exactly what you're about to do. You're not going to eat it. You've already tasted that poison before. That's why you're pouring it out and you're not even. But this shit hurts though. This shit hurts. I, I mean, this, this, this hurts. I don't think that it hurts as bad as it did the last time because... You know, in other decks, they're in, like, active battle, active pursuit of each other, like, trying to compete. I feel like this time, you didn't compete, but it's just the fact that 
you gave this person a chance and they did the same thing again, you know? Because you were fine. And now you allowed this person to put you back in a position like this again when you were fine. You should have never trusted a cure from a system that once made you sick. And I and that's why I don't, I don't like this. It's like because you know better. Judgment. The ace of wands and judgment. But you know, one thing like I said. I've been through worse than you. I just can't keep running away. I feel like this maybe was like the one last hurrah. Like you guys just try to give this person one last chance. Because I feel like they were asking for, I mean, they wanted to negotiate with you. They wanted to, but they still had all of these other elements around. And it's like, why, why even waste my time? And I feel like you guys are more mad at yourself that you allowed your time to be wasted to even have to make a decision like that to end up having to say I don't want this and I'm pouring your offer out it's not even I don't even see anything in these other cups right I mean mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got the Ace of Wands in the Judgment right here. So, again, I do think that y'all's relationship and this whole connection right here could have just all been about sex. Because the Ace of Wands, to me, I really do feel like it's, it's, it's a sexual thing. And I, really, and I know that with this Judgment card... You already knew that. Like, it was just going to be a sexual thing. It's going to start off fast or whatever. But at the end of the day, I have to look myself in the mirror and be a good judge of character and really see if this person has changed at all. And, you know, a chameleon, they will, they're kind of shape shifters. They change their color to fit any situation. And... I don't think you want to deal with, like, no shape shifter. Like, you want... A solid, strong, new, passionate beginning with someone that's really going to stand the test of time. That's going to put the work in and it's going to. That's going to put the work in, a, going to go in the field and dig up a new trench and build a new home and plant new seeds and like like everything someone is going to put the work in like wands is work is action do you understand what i'm saying someone who is driven and is as passionate as you and stuff like that and how can someone do that and they still have all of this they still have all of this other work with other people that they're still trying to balance with you and you don't even know where you fit in in regards to list of priorities for this person. Because you could be the one all the way in the last of the line. While at the end of the day, you sitting over here, <laughs> sipping on your cup, waiting for them to come. Because they promising you a new beginning. And you have to have good judgment based on what this person has shown you in the past. And that's why you poured it out. You didn't wait that long. You didn't wait that long at all. Honestly, all of the stuff that this person was saying, you really didn't believe it. And like I said, being the air sign that you are, I don't see that you did any investigation, but I know that you did because you know that there's other people there. And I feel like you felt that energy wise. I don't see that you even looked into it. I just know that you felt it and you knew. And you still have to go on about your life. You still have to recall everything that happened from yesteryears. You know what I'm saying? And even... Being around this person, trying to think about building something new, but only thing you can recall is things that happened. <laughs> you stuff being dug up in a grave from shit that happened in the past. It wasn't going to be fruitful. Do you understand what I'm saying? It wasn't going to be fruitful. The most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. In the deepest mud. I feel like this was just like the last hurrah for you too I'm hoping to realize that that person wasn't going to change and that you need to go on and think about you know your future and close that karmic tie and 
you know, release those to old toxic karmic patterns and think about think about your judgment. Think about how you would be judged. Think about in a court of law, like if what your decisions, your decisions, how would it impact your new beginnings? And how people will look at you and how you look at yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? So, it looks like you're on the right side of judgment here. That's good. You made the right decision, but at what cost? Emotionally, at what cost? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you made the right decision, but I don't like seeing you like that. The Queen of Diamonds, all right? We got, who is this? Dolly Parton. And you know, Dolly Parton is a very voluptuous, beautiful, spicy. I mean, she's like the queen of like country music or something. But isn't she like, yeah, Dolly Parton is like, the, she's like the Diana Ross of like country music, right? Yes. You know, the queen of diamonds is just like the queen of swords, highly educated, you know, uh, successful in regards to business and gets a lot of recognition in the outside world very flashy very vivacious you know um she's very analytical with how she deals with people you know what i'm saying she's a very good judge of character very good judge of character um like the ace of diamonds i mean the queen of diamonds are like um surgeons they deal with people with like sharp precision and things like that the seven of diamonds huh. the ace of clubs okay i like that i like that so the seven of diamonds to me and i'm going to clarify that so i really do think that the person that you were dealing with i want to say is a little bit older than you I, want to, I don't want to say that the person is was a hippie, but I want to say Mike could have been like drunk a lot of alcohol or something and maybe looks a little bit older than they are because maybe they had a hard life with maybe drugs or alcohol. But I really want to say it's a little bit more alcohol and weed. Um, in this situation, I do feel like you had to like really kind of come to some understanding with the situation with this person right here um i want to say this has to do with some type of you had to elevate and had to evolve because i don't feel like you guys are on the same level you know what i'm saying dolly parton and him y'all just didn't match y'all didn't match and i feel like you had to spiritually evolve and elevate and this is this is like the Ace of Wands. Like you wanted a new beginning. You wanted to see what else is going on. Like maybe you're attracted to um, someone now of a different race or you're interested in living a whole completely different life or you're following a different set of rules or religion or something like something that's completely different. I feel like wherever your life is going, you're spiritually being moved to something completely opposite than what it was that you were dealing with. You know, even dating people that are younger, you know, even maybe a little bit younger than you or something like that. You feel like someone younger than you can teach you something. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know. Dolly Parton, Dolly Parton and um, Marvin Gaye kind of look like the same age. I just feel like they're different races. They are like really different. I feel like you are into. I think, you know. You know with everything that you've been through that you have to stop intertwining with whatever it was in the past. Like that shit just isn't good for you. It just it just never works out in your favor. And you want something completely different. Something that make you feel different because even with Marvin Gaye, his hat is orange. You know what I'm saying? That's sacral chakra. Someone that is on the top of his head every day like how you feel and how he makes you feel and things of that nature so let me see the seven of diamonds 
the seven of diamonds right here is financial achievement reward recognition earned success steady improvement efforts forward lucky money wins a pay raise improved prospects a nest egg financial investments stocks bonds and e-trading so i do feel like, like i said trading i i felt like this she knew in the queen and queen of diamonds intelligent imaginative energetic professional woman who is culture and financially secure she might be a wealthy jet setter a celebrity an account executive a cpa a bank manager a government official she may be a relative by marriage but like i said this person is very smart and just realize that this is not working out for me i really do feel like it was like a class in lifestyles a clash in beliefs and you wanted something different you wanted something new what is this the Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs, the beginning of a new enterprise or business venture, focus and direction, singleness of a purpose, an exercise of will, important papers being signed, legal documents, contract mortgages, a legal will, a building or institution, a government or corporate office, public, private, financial education or penal a home belonging to something or someone other than the quarant. Okay. You trade it. You trade it off. Your beliefs in the way that you were carrying yourself. And you move to a different way of being a different home, like a different lifestyle. That's what I feel. I feel like there's it was a clash. These, pe these two people are two totally different. Give me guidance in regards to the Ace of Wands. And you guys, I'm still trying to learn the car, so. Clarify this judgment in this Ace of Wands. The Four of Spades. Bruce Springsteen. The Four of Spades. This isn't a good card. And the two of hearts. Kanye West. How could you be so heartless? That's what I'm hearing. How could you be so heartless? Okay, so what I'm getting here. Girl fight it for a spade. So, the four space is the after effect, after a third party relationship. So, that explains this Queen of Cups right here. This is, this could be stress and anxiety that could lead to like mental health issues like depression, deep sadness, um, and like extreme blockages in regards to being able to grasp onto the truth of reality to try to like, you know, like a deep suffering from loss, you know, and having to like face the karmic debts and the patterns that's getting in the way of you guys truly finding love and truly finding a solid relationship just you know what i'm saying like I, you guys having to face this shit and i really do feel like with this two of hearts right here i'm hearing with i just heard how could you be so heartless i really do feel like the person that you really loved like really put you through a lot of stuff like and you guys do feel like how could you be so heartless in the amy winehouse i really do feel like there was a level of addiction there was a Addiction, you know, they were trying to tell her to go to rehab. She said no. The person that you loved, love, love, love. How could they be so heartless? And for the four spades to be here, I feel like that's why you have to really judge this situation and judge this person's character off of what happened before. Because every time you get yourself involved with this person... Think of Amy Winehouse as beautiful and as talented as she was. Like, 
I think that the downfall of her was her husband, was it not? I mean, he was the one, I'm not blaming it on him, but them two together was toxic. They were toxic the fuck together. You understand what I'm saying? Like, who knows? Like, if she was strong enough to recognize with this queen of diamonds energy that I'm a diamond, I am a fucking celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like, this woman, she knows her worth. Like I said, in 2018, we already went through that. You know your worth. Looking at yourself and looking at him, it don't match. It don't match. It don't match. I might just completely switch up. E-trading. I might just, I, Look, I might have to trade you off. I might have to cash you in and, 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 and <laughs> get me a younger model. Get me a different model. Start some big business. Start something fruitful. Start something from the ground up. Grassroots. I got to use my smarts because at the end of the day, I'm not about to sit out here and keep wasting my energy. Just continue looking stupid. Like at the end of the day, you ain't changed. You ain't showing me nothing no fucking different. Because if you continue to engage in this shit, stress can kill you. That's what this is telling me right here. Loving someone that could be so heartless. Never trust a cure from a system that made you sick. Love can kill. Stress can kill. Be careful of who you love. Let's clarify this. For space. Because y'all. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Be careful of who. And what it is that you're loving. Because the only thing I'm hearing is, how could you be so heartless? Four spades, illness, um, recuperation, the need for caution, the sick bed, a hospital room, coffin, a jail cell, rest, confinement, exhaustion, the need to take it easy, move at a slower pace, bed reeling, feeling fenced in, staying at home, unhealthy situation, feeling trapped. Sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is depression. This is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Like, this this is why you have to move on. Because if you don't, the Queen of Cups in reverse is like someone I'd look at, someone that possibly needs to seek mental health because. They're almost in a delusional state about situation. They they not they're emotionally disturbed. You know what I'm saying? What a emotionally disturbed person that's not thinking rationally because they can't get their emotions together. And you got to like I know friends that they allow love to fuck them up so much they stop going to work, lost their house. Lost their kids, lost everything because they sitting in the house depressed over someone that don't love them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they can't seem to get their shit together and they keep going back and chasing someone that ain't doing nothing but literally trying to destroy everything. And it's like they keep running back to these people. You know? This is two of hearts, love, affection, emotion, a child, pregnancy, expectancy, a pet. Emotional excitement, talent, artistic ability, loving exchanges, love letters, good news. So, I hope some of y'all ain't pregnant. In the name of Jesus, it's going to come out. And in the five of clubs, this is realizing that you have to, like, they try to make her go to rehab. But she was saying, no, this is someone realizing I have to change the way I'm dealing with situations. You know what I'm saying? Like looking at the situation rationally and saying it might be better if I leave this job and go over here. Some, you know, like leaving something behind to do something else that's more better suited, suited for you. The five of cards, a uh, card of action and change, a change in a work situation, a change in social standings. You know what I'm saying? That can mean you guys were together and then you broke up. Symbolizing the five fingers of the hand, you know? 
representing working with one hand or making something. It could also denote exercise, physical labor, providing extra effort needed to get the job done, action, physical activity, the need for physical exercise, competition, a sporting event, a job interview. Good luck. You know, due to... I <sighs> Give me guidance. What's going on over here? Give me guidance over here. This Ace of Wands. This Judgment. It's Four of Spades. Two of Hearts. And it's Five of Clubs. Because it's like... You do love this person. And some of y'all could possibly be pregnant with this person. By this person. But you gotta be careful because... This emotional stability here, this sickness, this being, this depression right here, it's not good. Give me guidance. It's like Libra pregnant. Like, what is going on? The lady. Give me guidance. What's going on with the ace of wands, the judgment, the four of spades? It says the bear. Okay. The lady. The bear, the gentleman, and ooh, two gentlemen. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? So, this is what I got, y'all. I got the lady, it's in between a situation where she's having to try to. She's being forced to work out something between two different men. Two different men. Ooh, the two different men. Oh, so are y'all the ones? What? It's like you're, you're being forced to confess or to work something out between these two men. What the whole fuck? See, this shit just went left on me, bitch. <gasps> what? What? Give me God. Oh. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, so it says... The crossroads, the bouquet, journal, yeah, their secrets, the, oh, the clock, the dog commitment, the key, the letter, and the snake. Okay, okay, now this story is going left. This story is going left. All right, so I feel like right now this might be a message for someone that is possibly dealing with a Libra female. Because that might be. Oh, I'm so fucking. Okay, I'm not confused, but the story just went left. The story just went fucking left. Hold on. Give me that. It's about what the fuck is going on over here. Because it just might be two different situations that's coming on. That's coming out right now. And I'm trying to put it all together from what I was getting early. And it just might be two totally different situations. Because down here. With the Lenormand deck. Give me guidance right here. The locket. There is a secret in love. Seeing some signs. Tree. Something about your health. A child. In the moon. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. Okay, y'all. I definitely feel like there's one of y'all that's pregnant. 
I do feel like that there's some preg there's a pregnancy and now the shit is making sense. Oh my fucking god, y'all. Okay. I feel like some of you guys were in a relationship with two different men. You were dealing with like a, a, a black guy. Listen, y'all were dealing with a black guy and y'all were dealing with a white guy. Okay? I feel like this the like ever white guy or light skinned guy. I feel like this one was your ex or something. I feel like this one was your ex. I feel like the new guy, the new gentleman is possible is this black guy. Cause the ace of the ace of ugh. Okay, so you guys already had a commitment with this with the lighter with the lighter skinned gentleman. I'm not saying the man could be older. Or it could just been that you were with this person for a longer duration of time. You know good and goddamn well that you done been through situations with this person one, two, three, four, five times. But like I said, I've been through worse than you, but I can't keep running away. I feel like you guys went back one more time to face this situation because you still love this person. But at the same time, you guys met someone new, someone completely different. Y'all met another fucking gentleman. All right. Y'all met another gentleman. And this one, I really do feel like kind of came to you by storm like this one is strong this one you feel protective i feel like this one i feel like career wise this person has a stronger career like this one is just responsible and just can't hold you down and i really do feel like this one is the the dark skin guy i feel like he's coming long and strong and you're smelling the roses i feel like you're caught up in a crossroads between two different people i really do feel like you're caught up in a crossroads between two different people and i feel like it's weighing on you deep you understand because you're being offered by two different people and you have a secret of your own because up here it says something about a child and i do feel like i feel like only time, like, you only got a certain amount of time. You understand what I'm saying? Because I want to say, I, I want to say that with this snake right here, I want to say it's it's been on you guys. It's been rocking y'all energy about who to commit to, who to commit to. Because it's like, you only, it's, it's something about timing. It's something about timing and you guys making the right choice about who to give the key to your heart to. You know what I'm saying? Or who to move in with or who to commit to. You understand? You have, you only, it's, it's delicate timing. It's like time sensitive, time sensitive. And then you got the letter in this snake and I feel like, there's some secrets. There's a secret because you're hiding something. You're hiding something. You're hiding something. And you're being deceitful and you're being sneaky. You're being deceitful and you're being sneaky. And I really do feel like you are corresponding between two different people. You're corresponding between two different people because you're in this crossroads and you're being sneaky. You're being sneaky. And you're just trying to find loyalty and commitment. But then, then you got this locket in this tree, in this child here. This child here. I don't think that this baby is his. I think the baby is his. And then there go the tree. You needing to seclude yourself due to health. I think you might have like a high risk pregnancy or something like that. But you need to have peace of mind. There's something about this situation. These two individuals. I feel like you being torn apart. I feel like the one that you love ain't right for you. The one that's right for you. You're hiding something from this person. I don't want to reach that far and say like you don't know who, whose child it is. But I really do feel like you might be. This letter might be like a paternity, might be paternity correspondence. 
or it might be you telling someone else that <laughs> you're scared only in due time they're going to unlock the secrets you know what i'm saying they're going to find out somebody to document or something like that I don't want to feel like I'm, 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 I'm just, oh my God. Okay. Let me just keep going. Let me just keep going. But I feel like it has something to do with this pregnancy and the fact that how you're getting sick or something like, you know, it's not this one's pregnancy, uh, this one's baby. It's this one's baby. Cause I'm seeing a dark skinned child and in the moon. Oh my dear God, y'all! I'm sorry. Cause I now I feel like I'm crazy. I feel like I'm fucking crazy, y'all. I feel like I'm fucking crazy. Cause at first I thought that y'all went. I mean, clearly y'all y'all did go back. Well, maybe this one don't know that you got fucking with your ex, and they think that this is their baby. The, I, oh my God, God, please come on. This is for me. This is so fucking crazy. What the fuck? Like y'all know who to commit to. Give me guidance for my Libras. Patience. I told y'all y'all are fucking pregnant. I told you. I told you. I fucking told you. I'm not fucking crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. Don't do me like that. Now come on. Uh-uh. Like this baby is about to come. The burden. This is the six of swords. The burden is pointing towards the past. The burden. I just can't keep running away. The burden. And it's like this man is having to carry this woman on her back. Guilt. I don't think that this fighting y'all y'all I feel like this I feel like number one I feel like some of y'all are most definitely pregnant Y'all were still fucking with your ex and you are dating somebody else. There's some of y'all that y'all are not sure whose child this is. And that's the burden because you think it may be your ex's, but it's not. It's the new person's baby that you fucking with. It's just not the ex's baby. This is the new person's baby that you fucking with. But it's, I feel like there's a burden being pointed towards the past. And it's been rocking your mind. Y'all are guilty about this shit. Y'all feel a lot of guilt. Because y'all were. And then this fighting right here. I feel like you just don't. Oh, hold on. 